My name is Chris Griffin. In a previous video, I highlighted some inconsistencies in Family Guy and used Chris' birth story as an example. Today, we will delve deeper into the controversy surrounding his birth. Just get over here and kiss me! Are Peter and Lois really Chris's biological parents? <sighs> I miss our stolen son in America. Or was he stolen or adopted from another couple? First, let's explore the evidence suggesting that Chris might not be Peter and Lois's biological son. <laughs> what a little explorer! In Season 19, Episode 15, Lois suddenly revealed that Chris was stolen from a Dutch family. It's funny, but I, I have no memory of living with them. Yeah, sort of like Chris doesn't remember we stole him from a Dutch family. Chris even understood Dutch. We happen to have lot there, Robert. Robert, right? What do you you said? At the end of the episode, they showed Chris's Dutch family, who remarkably resemble Chris. Yes, it's happy to be back home. In Season 11, Episode 14, Peter tells about his marriage with Lois and says they have one beautiful child. And we have one beautiful child. It doesn't seem likely that Peter referred to Chris or Meg as beautiful. Meg ugly! But about Stewie, both Peter and Lois said he's beautiful. Oh, he's so beautiful! Sometimes I just can't believe we could make something so beautiful. Interestingly, questions about Chris's origin surfaced early on. When Meg suggested that Chris was adopted in season two, episode one. What if they bury her and she like wakes up because she wasn't really dead? She was only sleeping. Yeah, that's what happened to our big brother, Jimmy. That's why mom and dad adopted you. What? Another puzzling fact is Chris's hair color. Happy birthday, sweetheart. No one in the Griffin family, including his grandparents, shares the same hair color as Chris. But God had other plans, and you were born right there. However, several scenes suggest Chris is their biological son. Let's delve into them. It's him! It's Peter Griffin, the miracle healer of Quahog! Oh, heal me, oh great one! Peter, these people are worshipping you. Don't you think there's someone who might resent that? In Season 2, Episode 9, God's punishment for Peter's blasphemy fell onto Chris. The water, it turns all red and goopy like blood! God is pissed! Some people, believing Peter to be a prophet due to his lies, even created a golden idol of him, provoking God's wrath. Peter, this is the final plague. Peter, the final plague is the death of the firstborn son. Oh no, Stewie! The firstborn son. Meg! Your wife. Chris! As a result, a punishment reminiscent of the Ten Plagues of Egypt was inflicted on the Griffin family, culminating in Chris nearly dying from a curse meant for the firstborn son. Please don't take him, God, I'm sorry! Good, good. Peggy, turn off the plagues, please. So, it's as if Chris being Peter's firstborn son was certified by God. Furthermore, Lois and Peter have mentioned Chris's birth on several occasions. One instance involved a broken condom leading to Chris's conception. And there's even a news article covering Chris's birth. I found my baby book! Hey, here's the broken condom that led to my birth. And the resulting lawsuit bought us this house. Mm, you're my favorite mistake. Oh. Come on, Lois, I feel great dropping that kind of weight all at once. You remember how good you felt after you had Chris? This is the most reliable official record stating that Lois gave birth to Chris. I'm pregnant! <laughs> Lois also admitted to heavy smoking and drinking during her pregnancy with Chris. Mom, I'm not getting an abortion! Well, I'm not saying an abortion per se, but maybe you just drink and smoke a lot. What?! Just don't stop doing it and then chicken out halfway through the pregnancy because then you wind up with Chris. Peter took Chris to the museum to teach Irish heritage, not Dutch heritage. Now, Chris, it's important you learn about your Irish heritage. Indirectly supporting the claim that Chris is Peter's biological son. <laughs> All right, son, I'm gonna need those two hams back. Peter and Chris also share several common traits. Both are overweight and not so bright. You're not a shoplifter. You're just a fat kid. Like Peter, Chris displays a talent for drawing. I call my comic for Pete's sake. 1541. Michelangelo unveils the Sistine Chapel.
Having explored the contentious issue of Chris Griffin's origins and the evidence surrounding it, what do you think? Is Chris the biological son of Peter and Lois, or was he adopted or even stolen from another couple? But in the new millennium, there is only Christabel. Hey, that's not Arch. I'm a sure. Hey, that's my dad. He's the whole reason I'm here. 